Hey everyone, welcome to the Horror Show. I'm Cecil Laird. I'm Marsh Parker. I'm Cecil Von Slaughter. I'm Ian Fuego here. Back with another trailer reaction. This time we're actually doing a, uh, a viewer request to react to their fan trailer. Uh, they apparently have made a few fan trailers for a Nightmare on Elm Street film of some kind. I don't, I don't know if they're just doing the trailers or if they're trying to, you know, put together some buzz in order to maybe put together a fan movie. Um, but uh, I basically, he sent me three trailers and I asked, uh, which one is your favorite? What do you want us to do? And he said the second trailer has the most views at like 2.4 million, Ooh. but he said oh. his favorite is the third trailer. So okay. we'll do the third trailer. All right, we'll All do right. your fave, yo. We're gonna do your favorite. So it's here we concept. go. This is Nightmare, Return to Elm Street. All right. And three, two, one, go. I know I sound crazy. That doesn't make this feel any less real. Just go to sleep. It's making your mind play tricks on you. It's making you sound crazy. I'm just afraid that the next time I go to sleep could be the time he gets me. today to seek and to receive comfort. We would be less than honest if we said that our hearts did not ache oh over this tragic How about you have a little bit more respect for my daughter, huh? Words cannot express the void that has been created in each and every... I want to let you know in person. They're releasing your husband today. Forensics came back on the knife and the, the blade patterns didn't match. But you were convinced it was him. I, I'm running out of options. My wife doesn't even know anything about my past. I mean, she's so convinced that I murdered our daughter. Well, she started writing about a man that she saw every night. Sometimes outside her window, sometimes right at the foot of her bed. But she's even keeping me away from Abby. And I know Freddy's coming for her next. Can you teach you that song again? One, two, three's coming for you. Three, three four, three, better lock, lock your door. Five, six, grab your crucifix. I think I might have an idea, but it's gonna involve you remembering what happened back in Springwood. In this session, it's gonna get a little dark. <laughs> I, I I actually I liked it. I liked, I liked it. it yeah. I liked it too, but I feel like there's so much that could have been done that I already know is not going to be in the movie, <laughs> and I'm already sad about it. <laughs> I you know I, I thought it was a cool setup bringing Freddy into the more digital age mm -hmm. with the with the you know the iPad thing or the laptop bit here. Um, you know obviously it's it's shot on a on an indie you know <clears throat> lack of budget, but mm -hmm. they they I thought you know. Outside of a couple of shots, they they framed Freddy weird in a couple of shots, but a couple of shots, I thought he his reveal shot looks great. Right. <laughs> the reveal shot looks looked awesome. So um, I, I I it makes me want more Freddy. God yeah, it, it, did. I know. it made me want to watch Freddy. Like that's yeah. what this did, and that's exactly what it's supposed to do. So I thought they were very successful into that. Yeah. Um, and I just I like this setup too. You know, like. The mom, the the disconnect between the mom and the dad, and you're like, what's that about? And you realize he's being framed. Like you don't see that in the Freddy movies. Right. Um. So I thought that was really creative. I mean, obviously it is a it is a lower budget, but 
it's forgivable considering yeah. the the quality of the film the acting doesn't look that disappointing uh-huh. um so i think this is very successful it felt long but not really that long I felt like there's parts they could have cut, but I like it. It did feel like, it definitely it felt like an extended trailer. Yeah. Um, but, uh, Susie, what were your thoughts? <laughs> I feel like, like I said, like I feel like all the elements are there, but it's like going to be like, oh, so close, yet so <laughs> far away. It could be something so amazing. But like, no, I agree that with, it looks from what it looks like what they had, they did really, really well with it. But it's almost like what we were kind of discussing earlier with Lee about like what movie could be re re remade. Like I think with this, they have amazing ideas. They have a really great way of going about it. But because of the lack of budget, it couldn't be executed the way that it could have been. Mm -hmm. You know. So, but yes, I'm a huge Freddy fan. So I'm you know I think it's great. Uh, you know, before Fuego gives his opinion, I will say the other thing is um, that <clears throat> the nice thing about this, what I like is that every Freddy movie so far, outside of Freddy vs. Jason and New Nightmare, has been about a group of kids slowly being picked off mm -hmm. by Freddy. Mm -hmm. I like that this is a different story. This is a, a frame-up right. story. Mm -hmm. And Freddy is like, you know, sure, around the town and stuff, but, but that's not the crux of it. Um, I kind of like that, that there's that difference. So he's Fuego. going after this one family. Right, yeah, or, or you know, or friends or of her or something yeah. like that, you know. I, I, I like that it's, he, maybe she was just one of his hundreds of victims, but the story we're getting is the personal story of the dad trying to get at what happened, you right. know. Mm -hmm. I think that's cool, that's different. What were you thinking, Fuego? I honestly really like it as well, and uh, it's, if, if I'm going to just say a resounding point is the fact that I'm excited by the fact that we can make these new fan films like the Voorhees one that we've talked with, you know, uh, Cody. Is Cody on, right. Mm -hmm. from, from White Paint Pictures and stuff. And this looks to be on a similar level of ambitiousness with a very low budget. And I appreciate the hell out of it. The only thing that sucks is that this is all that we have the opportunity to get lately with these iconic slashers we love so much. But at least we get something. I'm trying to look at Glass Half Full with this. And the, the reveal, like you said, when you first just saw the side of the face and everything, I was like... That almost looked as good, if not better, than the remake, mm -hmm. which I had a ton of. I think it looked with, better so. than the remake. That shot, yeah. anyway, did. Mm -hmm. um, so I mean, I don't know if this is a proof of concept trailer or if it's like an actual full-on project that they're trying to do. But if there is a you know Kickstarter or crowdfund of some sort still going for this, I hope they get more money so they can make mm -hmm. something more mm -hmm. interesting with it because they have some good ideas here. Yeah, I agree. All right. Well, I think that pretty much means it was successful. We all. Um, enjoyed uh, enjoyed it, or at least aspects of it, right, Susie? I, look, all I'm saying is someone throw him a little bit more money. Yeah. Come on, just give him some more money. Uh, but, you know, it's definitely a valiant effort, and um, hopefully we'll be able to see more coming from these guys. Because, um, uh, again, I just, I love Freddy. He's my favorite for a reason. So uh, anytime I get more of him, even if it's in these little fan trailer chunks, uh, I'll still take it. Mm -hmm. you know, still I, take I, it. I really, the more we keep cycling through this trailer, I like the tortured aspect of this main deed's performance. It seems mm -hmm. yeah. very, very interesting. I want to know what's up with well, I get the, past. Well, I so. get the feeling that he was a Freddy victim, and Freddy's coming back after his family uh -huh. and trying to blame yeah. him for it. Oh, that's, that'd be interesting. That's what I'm getting with the psychologist, and huh. let's go back to this time and all that, so... I like that shot too. Yeah, it's a cool shot. Oh, that's yeah. so creepy. <laughs> but he, Freddy is a creep. Yeah, yep. so creep it real, mm -hmm. y'all. Creeper. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, <laughs> let us know in the race. comments down below what you thought of this uh, fan trailer. This is a uh, fan trailer number three, uh, and it's uh, let's see. It this looks like it's by uh, from uh, at Who Is Your Film Daddy. Is, is the person you that I think sent daddy. it to us. I like the street. Did you see the streets? It's Elm Street, and, yeah. and, and literally it's, it's West Craven yeah. Avenue. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> it's a nice touch. I like that. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, uh, overall, I, I kind of enjoyed, uh, I, I more than kind of enjoyed, I, I, I flat enjoyed what I saw. So uh, it makes me want to actually seek out some of the m more well-received Nightmare on Elm Street fan films now, mm -hmm. if there are any short films out there. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm sure there are, so. I've been jonesing to just rewatch those original movies lately. Me with too. All the discussion we've been doing with, you know, the, when uh, she interviewed the actor from 2 and when we saw the, the film that's coming out about him. and Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, I miss my Freddy. <laughs> <laughs> well, like I said, let us know in the comments down below what you thought of this. Until next time, I've been Cecil Laird. I'm Marsh Parker. I'm Susie Von Slaughter. Gracias, I've been Jaime Fuego. And remember, stay, stay scared! scared.